Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, AKA Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, y'all, today we are going to do a little talk through tutorial, and it's all about how to apply a frontal unit. I started wearing frontals last April, I believe, and <laughs> Let's just say I've come a long way. Now I am by no means an expert in the frontal arena, but I, I think I'm able to help at least a few people out. So we are actually going to use a synthetic wig and it's by Outre. It's from their Perfect Hairline series. And her name is Geneva. Here she is. <laughs> I have Geneva in this very pretty blonde color. This is her. She looks, oh my God, the model is killing Geneva on the stock card. But yes, I have her in the DRFF4 Hazelnut Honey. Now Geneva is a 13 by 6 frontal. If you look here, you can see the frontal area. It comes with the two combs here on the side, a comb in the back, and it does come with an elastic band along with the adjustable straps. This helps your wig fit more snugly on your head. But I am going to show you the typical tools I use to glue down my units. So normally when you are putting on a frontal, a few things matter as far as making it look as natural as possible. The lace is a huge deal, especially as someone as melanated as I am. Lace typically does not come in my shade, but that is why we have things called tint spray. My absolute favorite tint spray right now is by Ebony York Tinted Lace, and I have it in the darkest shade they have available. It's called Darkest Brown, but they do have, I believe, six other shades that are lighter than this. And the shades they have are great for all different tones of brown skin. So definitely check them out. I'll leave a link to their tint spray in the description box down below. And for those who are new to frontal wigs and lace fronts, cutting the lace is pretty easy. Normally I use a scissors and try to cut along in a jagged line. And the reason why I cut in a jagged line is so that it doesn't look unnatural because sometimes if you just cut straight across, it can just look like a bowl shape and that doesn't look natural. Not everyone uses scissors to cut their lace, by the way. Sometimes people use this razor comb tool. And this is something that you can find in a beauty supply store and even online beauty supply stores. And they will have the wig on their head already and they will use this to kind of cut the lace off. I'm sure some of you have seen that. But I prefer to cut the lace off my head. So after cutting the lace, I'm ready to tint the lace because I want it to match and blend with my skin as much as possible. I'm here, gonna spray the lace like so. And I'm spraying pretty much near the edges. Then I take my handy dandy blow dryer. This one's by Revlon and I have a link to it in my description box if you're interested. It only costs like $10. Put this on, let it blow dry. All right, so now you see what the wig is looking like. I didn't spray all of it, but it's definitely a dark brown now. And I'm ready to put her on. And you can see automatically, like look at how this is blending already. I swear this lace tint is freaking amazing. I love it. Okay, let me fix this wig because I look crazy, girl. This lace tint is bomb. I know there are other companies out there, you know, doing this, but I just really love that Evan offers these super dark options. Look at that. Blending so much better into my skin. All right, so the wig is on. First thing you want to take note of is how does the wig fit on your head? I have a medium sized head and my head is 22 inches. If you do not know the size of your head, I highly suggest that you measure it. You can use some type of, you know, flexible measuring tape like this. You can literally measure from the top here all the way down to the back um, of your head. You can measure that way to know the circumference. You can also measure your head going this way. And I'll insert a picture of 
what it would look like if measuring your head. So on my medium sized head, I would say this is fitting pretty, pretty snug. It's, it's going, I would say the lace is going from ear to ear. I wouldn't say it's like super big head friendly though. Like my edges, they just need to be slicked back in order for it to fully cover. But for me, this is working. And even if you do have a larger head, I think this can still work. Now putting this on, I'm like, what? Who is she? <laughs> oh man, I haven't even done anything yet. Okay, all right. If I wanted to wear this glueless, my next step would be to further blend this in. I would use my foundation that I use specifically for blending lace. This is a foundation, it's by CoverGirl. It's their True Blend Matte Series, and it's in the color, can you guys see this? There we go. It's in the color D90 and the color is called Espresso. This works really well for me when blending lace. That's the only reason why I use it. And it's a darker shade. And in my experience, when I use a darker shade to blend my lace, especially if the lace is super light, then it just cancels out and it blends beautifully. So I really feel like I can wear this glueless. Wow, what? But I'm going to show you what the tools that I normally use when I'm gluing down my wigs. I normally use Got To Be Glue in the black bottle. And I say the black bottle because it doesn't leave a cast, whereas the yellow bottle does. My favorite right now is the Bedhead Spray. This is the mini bottle, and I will link that down in the description box as well if you want to buy it. This works like a charm. It does not move. So literally, I will just spray some on ar around here. If I was going out, yeah, I would tack the sides down, but I'm not really doing all that right now. So I would spray some right here and keep it pushing. And then I'm gonna blow dry. So this is how it's looking right now. I think it's blending pretty well. And you saw that I was using this comb here to press it down as it was blow drying. If you see that there's a little bit of excess lace, I would recommend grabbing a scissors like this, a small one would be best, and just cutting it off. So I'm seeing some excess lace over here. I just wanna snip it. It's, it's not like a lot. Now, if I do notice that there is any type of lifting going on, or if I feel like, like it's not blending, I will take some of the Got To Be Glue in the back black bottle, and I will just apply a smidgen over here, just a tad. You don't wanna cake this on because, you know, it's the front, it's the hairline, you still want it to look seamless, but I just think this helps it blend a little bit better. You see what I'm doing here? And then I take my blow dryer. One thing you have to make sure, you have to make sure that there is nothing on your actual forehead. No makeup, no oil, nothing. I would recommend just cleaning off your forehead beforehand with some type of wipe of some sort. Maybe you can use a toner, maybe an alcohol pad, something just to make sure your forehead is clean. So I do have makeup on my face, obviously, but there was no makeup on my forehead and it was cleaned off. So that's what I do as far as laying this frontal down. And as you can see, it's looking like it's blending. And I'm in natural lighting right now because I want you to see what it will look like when I step out the house. Like this is what it's gonna look like. Now, obviously I didn't blend this down. If I wanted to pull this over and do that, if I was actually going somewhere, I would do it, but I'm not doing all that right now because <laughs> I still have to review a few other wigs. <laughs> I just want to show you at least what to do. And it's looking pretty good. I'm feeling this. If I do notice any like ashy spots, I will go in with, you know, this um, foundation. I prefer to use this type of brush. And squirt some on. And then I just like to pat a little bit over here. And this brown is a little bit on the warmer side. You see that? It's definitely cooling off some of those spots right there as I pat it in. Again, I think less is more when it comes to laying frontal, so I don't wanna put too much product on the actual frontal. I really don't. 
And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now as for the size that I'm not gonna lay down, I'm literally just gonna fill them in with this dark brown eyebrow pencil. I can just fill it in here. Literally just color it in, y'all. You don't have to stress yourself if you don't want to. Color that joint in, that's it. If you wanna pull it up, I mean, by all means, have a filled day, but for me, I can be a little lazy, so I'm not doing that. Yeah, that is how I apply the frontal. And I must say, I think it's looking pretty natural. I think it's blending in with my brown skin very well. And from this point, I would just style the wig. So this is the final look. I think this is looking very seamless. I overall really like this wig. First of all, I love Altre and their wigs never do me wrong. So there's that. I think the hairline was plucked very nicely and it is from their Perfect Hairline series. So I would hope it would look pre-plucked. You know what I mean? Just keep in mind that when it comes to frontals and lace fronts in general, the two main areas where people tend to go wrong as far as making it look natural is the color of the lace and the hairline. This is what I've noticed. So if your lace color matches your skin tone, you are already one step ahead of the game. If your hairline is pre-plucked, you're even further ahead. So I think if you have those two things in check and the wig fits your head, of course, then you are on your way to having a very seamless install. Look at this, you guys. I'm in natural lighting. Look at that. Okay. And you see, I filled in the sides and it looks natural. I didn't have to glue that down. I'm all about less is more, y'all. <laughs> And I think I did a good job with this and it took no time. I'm sure you also noticed that I did not use like a silk wrap to melt the lace. I just never end up doing that because I just never have it on hand when I'm ready to record. And I was like, no, it's fine. I'll just show them what I normally do. And although I probably should do that, but to me, it hasn't been totally necessary. So yes, please let me know how you feel about this install. Let me know if this talk through, this walkthrough helped you. If you're interested in this wig in particular, I will leave a Google link down below so that you can find this wig and purchase it. I think it looks very nice. Just be mindful that it's a synthetic wig, y'all. So please don't expect it to last forever. <laughs> it feels good now, but it is long, so it's bound to tangle at some point. If you are interested in seeing more of my tutorials, check out my Wig 101 playlist where I cover various subjects. And if you are brand new here, welcome to the family. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell on your way out because, you know, I love when you guys join us and make sure you introduce yourself to me in the comments. Y'all know I love when y'all talk to me. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.